This video is part of our series on composting. To learn about other composting methods, follow the link in the video description. Biodynamic composting is a relatively fast method of producing large quantities of specially nutrient-rich compost. It is well suited for farmers who require large amounts of compost such as for orchards or several households who share compost. To make biodynamic compost with a base of 2 meter by 2.5 meters with a height of 1 meter, you'll require following materials. 400 kg of green biomass, 300 kg of dry biomass, 200 kg of cow dung, 25 kg of slack lime, 25 kg of rock phosphate or cross stone if it's not available, 4 wooden logs, 4 bamboo pegs, measuring tape and ropes. Making your own biodynamic compost will take approximately 6 to 7 hours and it is best to start during winter or dry season. The process begins with selecting and preparing the site. The biodynamic compost is prepared as a surface heap, built on a flat and dry site, away from say trees and other elements that could promote water logging. Mark out a rectangular plot of land of a size that suits your needs. In this video, we use a 2 meter by 2.5 meter plot. Mark the corners of your plot with four bamboo stakes and tie a string between them, forming a rectangle. The string will serve as a visual indicator while building your pile. After marking the plot, place the logs lengthwise down its middle. Stack the logs up to form a pyramid shape if logs are not available, you can make a similarly shaped structure out of branches and twigs. Having prepared the foundation of the pile, it is now time to add layers of biomass. We are adding 6 layers in total and using alternating layers of dry and green biomass throughout the pile. Keep the following tips in mind while building your pile. Before adding a layer of biomass, Move the string that connects the four corner poles up to the desired height of the layer. This will indicate how much material to add. Spread all newly added material out evenly to create flat layers. This is most easily achieved by adding material starting from the outer sides before filling in the middle. Begin building your first layer by adding 20 cm of dry biomass, then drench it thoroughly with water. Next, add 10 cm of cow dung. If available, you can use cow dung slurry instead, which will result in compost that is even more nutrient rich. To learn how to make such slurry, you can refer to our instructional video on Jolmol 1 preparation. The link is in the video description below. For the second layer, add 15 cm of green biomass, moisten with water and then apply 10 cm of cow dung. Build your third layer by adding 15 cm of dry biomass and again moisten with water. As the pile increases in height, make sure to water its sides as well. On top of this third layer, add approximately 25 kg of cross rock chips. If available, using rock phosphate instead of rock chips will increase the quality of your compost. Build a fourth layer by again adding 15 cm of green biomass and moisten with water. And then apply approximately 25 kg of crushed slack lime. For the fifth layer, Add dry biomass, moisten again with water and add a 3 cm thick layer of soil. For the sixth and last layer, add 20 cm of green biomass 
and then add a final 15 cm layer of manure. The final heap should now be roughly 1 meter high. After the last layer, seal the heap by plastering its top and sides with a paste made from soil and cow dung in 3 to 1 ratio. To create enough plaster for our 2 meter by 2.5 meter pile, we need approximately 200 kg of dung and 600 kg of soil. Add water until the mixer has a sticky consistency. It should neither be too wet nor too dry. Let the plaster rest for 2 hours before applying it and roll it into individual balls of around 2 kg. This will make the plaster easier to apply. Moisten the pile before plastering. Start plastering from the lower part of one of the pile's corners, then proceed plastering upwards. Slap the balls of plaster vigorously onto the pile and spread them out evenly. Once you reach the upper edge of the pile, push it in gently to create rounded corners. Proceed in the same manner until all sides of the pile are plastered, then plaster over the top. Finally, apply water to the complete plastered area and even it out to create a smooth surface. Once the pile has been plastered, check once a week for emerging cracks and reseal them. The pile should be composted completely after approximately 2 months at an average ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Colder ambient temperatures mean longer composting times. Before harvesting the compost, check if it is ready. Break one hole into the plaster and inspect the compost. Your sample should smell like forest soil and be a rich dark brown color. If the sample contains a lot of uncomposted chunks of organic matter, reseal the pile and let it compost longer before checking again. If your pile is ready, dismantle it and thoroughly mix its contents. Your compost is now ready and can be stored or used immediately.